Hey guys, this is EJ Hall with the Wolverine.com in Michigan has scored another big win on the recruiting trail. But before we talk about that, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to the Wolverine.com today for just $29.99 until August 31st. That gets you premium insider information on all things recruiting, the team, transfer portal, basketball, basketball recruiting, and so much more. Come join the discussion over on the Fort Message Board, which features over 8,000 unique individual Michigan fans. You don't want to miss out. It's $29.99 until August 31st. And that also gets you through the spring evaluation period, summer official visits, the first few weeks of fall camp. So make sure to sign up today for just $29.99 until August 31st at thewolverine.com. All right, guys, Michigan has scored its third commit of the week. The Wolverines are on fire on the recruiting trail. Earlier this week, we saw Michigan land top 100 tight end Brady Prescorn. Four-star defensive lineman Gerard Smith. The latest commit is three-star interior offensive lineman Jake Wernera, who will play center in Ann Arbor. He was one of Michigan's top center targets, and the Wolverines were able to seal the deal with him. This one has been a long time coming. Wernera has uh, been a silent commit for basically a month, went ahead and made his decision public just moments ago um when era picked michigan over a pretty good offer list man you, you saw a lot of teams jump on him early um you know he's not super highly rated and we'll talk a little bit about why here in a second but when you look at his offer list i mean he picked michigan over schools like florida penn state miami north carolina ole miss uh sparty so he had quite a few power five offers and you know when you look at centers they're just not normally rated as high there's only a handful of center types that are really rated high every cycle but i think Winera is as good as you can get at the center position I mean, there's a reason sharon moore made him a top priority and took him now michigan had some quality center prospects on the board they had wall claire flynn out of uh, powerhouse Grayson in Georgia, who was a close family friend of Jaden Davis. They had Kyle Altooner out of uh, powerhouse Good Counsel in the DMV. Both of those guys visited. Both of those guys were high on the board. But at the end of the day, Winera is the guy they wanted at center, and that's the guy they took uh, a commitment from. So Sharon Moore definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, He's obviously proven to be a great coach of the offensive line, winning back-to-back Joe Moore awards. I also think he's a great recruiter and a great evaluator of talent. I think Wanera, while, again, not rated really high, mostly because he is a true center, um, I think he's going to be a really solid player. I could definitely see him, you know, flying under the radar for two or three years and then becoming, you know, a late career starter at the center position and being a very, very solid piece along the offensive line. While nothing really pops out about his game, this is a guy that checks a lot of boxes. I mean, he doesn't have a great skill set in any one particular area, but he has good feet. He has good bend. He has good strength. He's a guy that's going to continue to shape up his body um, and add more power to his game. He's a physical blocker. Um, I think he's what you want at the center position in terms of just being a high IQ football player. He's really smart. He understands the game. You know, the center is kind of like the uh, quarterback of the offensive line. So I think you you want a guy uh, that's just really smart, especially at a place like Michigan. And that's what you're getting in Warner. And it's it's really important also to have chemistry along the offensive line. I think that's a, a really underrated aspect when you look at Michigan's offensive line in particular. You look at the guys up front, and they're all really, really close. And when it came to the center targets, I'm not saying they that the commits didn't get along with Walt Claire Flynn or Kyle Altooner, but they really vibed well with Jake Winera. He was really involved in the group text. They really like him as a whole. I know he's already friends with guys like Blake Frazier and Ben Roebuck and Luke Hamilton. And so... I think having that chemistry going in as a big offensive line class um, is really going to help. So I think Michigan's just getting a really high floor guy. There might not be a big ceiling, if any ceiling, 
but I think he's as safe of a take as you can get at the center position. So again, even though it might be a boring take, I guess you could call it, uh, don't mean to be insulting there, but even though it might be a boring take, you're going to be happy that you have Winera on the on the roster years from now. So um, another solid addition along the offensive line, and that, oh, that gives Michigan five offensive line commits this cycle. And so it's going to be really interesting to see how Michigan handles numbers moving forward. I've been told that the number is six offensive linemen, but there are so many highly touted guys out there that are really interested in Michigan. The, the number could get to seven if some things work out in Michigan's favor. But you look at remaining targets, you have guys that are considered leans like on 300 interior offensive lineman, Max Anderson, on 300 tackle, Bennett Warren. Um, then you have guys that are, are kind of in that elite status that are super interested and, and are looking to maybe make an official visit. You have Brandon Baker, who's the number one offensive tackle in the country. You have uh, Michael Uini, who's a top 150 prospect out of Texas. Um, you have Jordan Seaton out of IMG Academy, who's a top 100 tackle. So, you know, the list goes on and on. I mean, it's a great problem for Michigan to have, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how the numbers work out. But that's uh, for Sharon Moore to decide. But either way, Michigan already having a fantastic offensive line class here with the addition of Winera, arguably the best offensive line class in the country in the 2024 recruiting class. So for more on the Jake Winera commitment and all things Michigan recruiting, make sure to head over to the Wolverine.com today. Again, that's just $29.99 until August 31st. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is completely free.